They wanted to move ahead in this innovation space. They did not want to miss this next big thing. So uh, Big Ideas 2021, first of all, I just want to remind people that all your research is on your website, along with all your trades. I mean, everything is there, people. So you can go and click and read the whole thing. We're going to go through a couple more of the big ideas, though. And I want to talk about crypto. Uh, we've got number six and seven, Bitcoin's fundamentals and Bitcoin preparing for institutions. So, you know, you've got a lot of fans in the crypto space. I want to know what you think here. And of course, Bitcoin, some people think, look, it's already hit its highs for 2021, the, the high watermark of above 40,000. What's ARK's thinking here? Uh, we do not agree with that. Uh, and what's been interesting this time around is to, if you look at Google search trends for Bitcoin or Bitcoin's price uh, against the Bitcoin price itself, um, you'll find that there's not a lot of speculative activity by that measure. In fact, in 2017, they were one for one together, but it has been pretty quiescent uh, until maybe very recently, but throughout last year. Uh, and so that gave us uh, a lot of comfort. Um, we believe that the institutional behavior uh, and moves recently have been fascinating. We have been expecting institutions to start moving into Bitcoin and other crypto assets, but primarily uh, Bitcoin, the most secure of the blockchains, um, because, uh, because it, if you look at the correlation of Bitcoin's performance relative to any other asset class, it, is, it has the lowest correlation, meaning if you buy some Bitcoin, you will further diversify your portfolio and increase your returns with lower risk, right? So that's why institutions look for that low correlation. Bitcoin has it. And uh, so uh, that's clear. We have 10 years of history now. Uh, but what surprised me and us generally was to watch MicroStrategy, which has put all of its, all the cash on its balance sheet into Bitcoin and even did a, another equity offering so it could put more cash on its balance sheet. And I, I think that's a little crazy because I, I, I think the regulators will have something to say about this in terms of what is this? Is this company the micro strategy technology company or is it like an ETF? So we don't know about that. But then you saw Square put 1% of all of its assets in Bitcoin. And I think you're going to see more of that. We didn't expect that. What we did expect was because of the low correlation of returns, uh, institutional investors to move in. The most surprising one to me thus far has been Mass Mutual. It put $100 million into its general account. Now its general account is enormous. So $100 million is something like 0 0.001. But what, what that move told us is you know, Mass Mutual is very conservative and very highly regulated. Uh, and so it had to jump through many more regulatory hurdles uh, than I thought would have been possible by now. Uh, so I think that uh, is a seal of approval. And then, of course, you have the institutional infrastructure moving into, into place, whether it's with custody and everyone uh, knows a lot about fidelity being out there in terms of uh, wanting to custody Bitcoin in particular. Uh, you have the Intercontinental Exchange uh, and, uh, and you've got the CME now with Bitcoin futures, uh, one settling in uh, kind, one settling in cash. Uh, and so uh, we do believe that uh, Bitcoin is getting ready for institutional, but when we when we actually think about this, uh, is Bitcoin ready for institutions? Bitcoin is only, it's roughly a $600 billion market cap. So not even half the size of Apple or Amazon, right? Yep. Doesn't put it into perspective. And yet it is a very big idea. I think a much bigger idea than uh, Apple or Amazon. It's the first global, truly global digital currency out there. 
and it, it, it is completely decentralized. There's no throat to choke. So uh, unlike uh, with Libra, you know, you had Europe and the US and many countries saying, we'll never right. allow this. Uh, that's because there was one throat to choke. With, with Bitcoin, there's no throat to choke. And in fact, when, when uh, China uh, basically shut down the exchanges in China that uh, uh, dealt in crypto, especially Bitcoin, that activity just moved over to Japan, Thailand, and mm -hmm. Korea, other countries that wanted, they wanted to move ahead in this innovation space. They did not want to miss this next big thing.